Valentine's Day on the south coast and a clash of two teams who've lost that loving feeling. Wolves arrive here at St Mary's with just one win in the last ten. Southampton have lost five Premier League games in a row. The Saints did come away smelling of roses after a 2-0 win at Molyneux in the Cup on Thursday, but it was only their second win in the last 11 meetings in all competitions. And if the old gold can break Saints' hearts again, It'll be a fitting way to mark Nuno's 100th Premier League game in charge. And the bounce is going to be kind to Johnny and he flicks it in field. Neto trying to take it on towards the byline. Twisting back onto his right foot, lifting his cross to the far post. Bertrand's header is going to drop towards Johnny who leaves it for oh. Martinho who strikes it but slices across the ball. to Minamino, Dendonka thought he could win it, it didn't quite get there and it's flicked on towards Redmond who's drawn Saiz across with him, Redmond up towards the edge of the penalty area, on for the run again, it's a good strike by Minamino and it was turned away by Rui Patricio, offside, offside bag had gone up anyway. Yeah, Minamino was appealing for a penalty I think, I'm surprised the referee entered, said something about the challenge on the halfway line, I think, or was it Conor Cody? Connor Cody left one down. Yeah, he's Redmond got carried on. Minamino able to run oh, in. No. He's miles on if it's Minamino. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were flagging for there. No. Flick on by Minamino, Armstrong, Redmond, suddenly it's Southampton breaking at the other end. Play switch to Ings, just inside the penalty area, trying to find room back on his left foot. He's still trying to find that space, finds Redmond who curls in and it's well saved oh. by Rui Patricio to tip it round the far post. It's end to end all of a sudden here at St Mary's. Yeah, Connor Cody's got caught under the ball hasn't he? So he's got, gone to win it, it's just opened up for him. But Redmond, I, say, I think that Saiz did really well to just force him across and all of a sudden then we get people back putting pressure on him. But it's a great save from Patricio, down to his left, yeah good save. Good save. And full stretch to his left hand side. Fingertip save. Yes, good save. From Portugal's number one. Now Ward Prowse takes over. Looking downfield to Minamino for Armstrong. Just to the right of the centre circle. Running across in and switching the play back to the left to Bertrand. Who'd pushed up a long way up towards Semedo. Armstrong on a dribble and he's run past two. And he continues to charge down the Southampton left and a left footed cross. He arrives and it's smashed in by Danny Ings. It's a really well worked goal, but from Wolves' point of view, questions will be asked as to how Stuart Armstrong was allowed to run past players so easily down the Southampton left, stop and pick out a cross. And Danny Ings picked out the far corner with a superb finish. Southampton 1, Wolves 0. Yeah, already I said, I've seen a couple of times already that Armstrong's been running with the ball. But you're just watching that. Nobody's tracked him at all. We've got three players there and he's just gone straight through the middle of all of them. You can't afford to do it. And again, Danny Ings just get, does what he does well. Creates a little bit of space for himself in the box and volleyed it first on. But you can't be allowing Armstrong just to go straight through the middle of three players. So we've seen already about him running, running with the ball. Oh, it's a great finish though. Yeah, Patricio is absolutely fuming. Traore, he has stayed on that left-hand side. And he's looking to run away from Romeo, and he's done so. And now trying to cut infield onto his right foot. And attempted to switch the play to Semedo. Semedo trying to strike it, blocked off by Bertrand. And Wolves won a penalty, and they've got it! <laughs> blocked by Ryan Bertrand. And Graham Scott decided that he did so with his arm. And Wolves have a glorious chance to get back into this game. Well, Bertrand's gone to ground, hasn't he? He's trying to say that he's injured. Just watching it again. Oh... Well, he turns his body. Yeah, he turns his body. Ryan Bertrand. put his arm out, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He yeah, his he does hit your hand. Yeah, he sticks his left hand out. <laughs> 52 minutes on the clock. At the end where Wolves supporters would normally be, on their feet, 
waiting nervously, as many of you will be listening to this. Ruben Neves to step up right-footed against McCarthy. It's Neves who sends the keeper yeah. the wrong way and Wolves are back on level terms. Southampton won, Wolves won, as cool as you like from Ruben Neves who makes no mistake. Yeah, just, just into the second half, they've been a little bit more positive. They've been having a go and again that's come from Traore picking the ball up, going past two or three players which you know he can, he can do and actually committing Southampton into actually coming out and trying to close them down. He was able to switch the play to Samedo, who had that shot, and which earned the penalty. But that's what they've got to do. They've got to try and be more positive in that top third, for me, and say, look, and try and put Southampton on the back foot. They're back in the game now, though. In the meantime, here comes Redmond down the Southampton right into the penalty area. Dangerous run, pulled back to the edge of the area, and a shot took a deflection from Armstrong. Wolves just about got bodies in the way. Again, we, we're trying to be too nice. Just sometimes, if there's nothing on, just put it over the top and turn Southampton. Got caught again, but Walker-Peters just reading it. Johnny's gone down that left-hand side. We play a little ball in there, and all of a sudden, we've got uh, four or five players out the game, and they're onto our back line. Traore will come back to it because that's a lovely pass by Neves and Traore is setting off at speed here and Semedo is arriving right hand side of the penalty area low cross blocked off by Vestergaard comes back to Semedo left footed cross from him headed away by Bednarek Neves trying to hit it up and hit it on the volley and it was straight at McCarthy just about bounced in front of him yeah better better I'll tell you the difference Traore again on the ball and running with it it's caused Southampton problems because they can't match him and that's what they've got to do, they've got to do that better. Martinho with the free kick, whipped into a th dangerous area and it's a Southampton foot that had to turn it behind. What a Goodness great ball. And you know when you talk about Matt Letizia, when he talks about putting free kicks in there, you've got to have people who are willing to get in there and when it hurts, and that was one of them for me. He was a great ball in. Oh, you've got to be. Oh, got to be was in the there. only man who was yeah. chasing in with three Southampton defenders. Now, William Chose nodding it down to Neves. Lovely first time pass into the path of Neto. Right hand side of the penalty area, back onto his left foot, now onto his right. Neto still dribbling. Oh. What a goal! Simply sublime from Pedro Neto. And Wolves have turned it round against Southampton again. Brilliant pass by Ruben Neves to find him. He could have crossed it, Pedro Neto. He decided to take on the responsibility himself. And he's produced something stunning. It's Southampton 1, Wolves 2. Oh, so look, there you go. You talk about people being positive and taking things to Southampton and you just saw that there it was good build up play to start with great ball over from Neves but he's got a lot to do still yes a great finish great finish best of all Mr Guard there just showing him down the line and he's got the pace and the skill just to get past him it's a great finish though oh yeah McCarthy's got no chance he's come that sharp at him but it's a great feat oh yeah he left Vestergaard, who had no chance. And no. From a narrow angle that he had no real right to get to. He likes scoring against Southampton. It's the third out of his ten Wolves career goals that have been scored against the Saints. Just got to keep the, keep going now. They've got to keep putting the pressure on. Don't back off. Don't let Southampton come into it. Because it's been a totally different second half from Wolves. Now Ings, flag has stayed down again. Danny Ings on the left-hand side, up level with the edge of the penalty area. Right-footed cross deflected off Dendonka toward Prowse, who strikes it low. Oh, Patricio saved it and then managed to get a block on the follow-up to deny Shea Adams. Well, he'll feel like he maybe could have held it first time, but he had to be alert there, Rui Patricio. And he made amends with an important stop, and it turned into a good double save. Well, Wolves are saying it's offside. There you go, and it's come up. Hey, what's that, 30 seconds? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely. I thought it was offside initially. Ings out on this side. 
but how long does it take to make a decision, really? The throw-in is taken backwards into their own half to Romeo, and Graham Scott puts his whistle to his lips. And for the second year in a row, Wolves have come from behind at St Mary's to turn it round to win. 1-0 down at half-time. Danny Ings' volley was the difference. But a much more spirited, improved second-half display. Saw, so first of all, the penalty one as Ryan Bertrand closed down and blocked Nelson Semedo's shot with his arm. Ruben Neves stepped up and struck it home. His fourth goal of the season, the third from the penalty spot. Wolves just got better and better, and Ruben Neves found Pedro Neto on the right-hand side of the penalty area, and he beat Vestergaard, and from the narrowest of angles, curled it into the far corner, and Wolves have won here by two goals to one, and Pedro Neto will be every Wolves fan's valentine.